Ranji's wonderful bat. How's that? shouted the wicket keeper. Out, said the umpire. Suraj, the captain of the school team, walked slowly back to the pavilion, a tool shed at the end of the field. It was Ranji's turn to bat. He was the youngest member of the team, only 11, but sturdy and full of pluck. Ranji had a good eye and strong wrists and had made lots of runs in some of the minor matches. But in the last two inter-school games, his scores had been poor, the highest being 12 runs. Now he was determined to make enough runs to take his side to victory. Ranji took his guard and prepared to face the bowler. The fielders moved closer in anticipation of another catch. The tall fast bowler scowled and began his long run. His arm whirled and a hard shiny red ball came hurling towards Ranji. The ball swung in the air, shot off the grass and came through sharply to strike Ranji on his pads. How's that? screamed the bowler, hopping about like a kangaroo. The umpire slowly raised a finger. Out, he said. And it was Ranji's turn to walk back to the tool shed. The match was won by the visiting team. Never mind, said Suraj, patting Ranji on the back. You'll do better next time. You're out of form just now, that's all. But their cricket coach was sterner. You'll have to make more runs in the next game. He warned Ranji. Oh, you'll lose your place in the side. Ranji walked slowly homewards, his head down, his hands in his pockets. He was very upset. He had been trying so hard and practicing regularly, but when an important game came along, he failed to make a big score. But he loved playing cricket and he couldn't bear the thought of being out of the school team. On his way home, he had to pass the clock tower. He often stopped at Mr. Kumar's sports shop to chat with the owner or look at all the things on the shelves. Footballs, cricket balls, badminton rackets, hockey sticks, balls of various shapes and sizes. But this was one day when he didn't feel like stopping. He looked the other way and was about to cross the road when Mr. Kumar's voice stopped him. Hello, Ranji. Off in a hurry today? And why are you looking so sad? So, Ranji had to stop and say namaste. He couldn't ignore Mr. Kumar, who had been so kind and helpful, always giving him advice on how to play different kinds of bowling. Mr. Kumar had been a state player once and had scored a century in a match against Tanzania. Now, he was too old for first-class cricket, but he liked encouraging young players and he thought Ranji would make a good cricketer. What's the trouble? he asked, as Ranji stepped into the shop. Lost the game today? Ranji felt better as soon as he was inside the shop. Mr. Kumar was so friendly, even the sports goods seemed friendly. We lost the match, said Ranji. Never mind, said Mr. Kumar. Where would we be without losers? Anyway, how many runs did you make? None. I made a big round egg. Mr. Kumar rested his hand on Ranji's shoulder. Never mind. All good players have a bad day now and then. But I haven't made a good score in my last three matches, said Ranji. I'll be dropped from the team if I don't do something in the next game. Well, we can't let that happen, mused Mr. Kumar. I'm just unlucky, said Ranji. Now you just come with me to the back of my shop and I'll see if I can do something about your luck. Puzzled, Ranji followed Mr. Kumar 
through the curtained partition at the back of the shop. He found himself in a badly lit room stacked to the ceiling with all kinds of old and second-hand sporting goods. Mr. Kumar began examining a number of old cricket bats and after a few minutes he said, Ah! and picked up one of the bats. He held it out to Ranji. This is it, he said. This is the luckiest of all my old bats. This is the bat I made a century with. Here, take it. I'll lend it to you for the rest of the cricket season. You won't fail with it. Ranji took the bat and gazed at it with awe and delight. Is it really the bat you made a century with? He asked. It is, said Mr. Kumar. And it may get you a hundred runs too. Ranji spent a nervous week waiting for Saturday's match. His school team would be playing a strong side from another town. There was a lot of classwork that week, so Ranji did not get much time to practice with the other boys. As he had no brothers or sisters, he asked Koki, the girl next door, to bowl to him in the garden. At last, Saturday arrived, bright and sunny and just right for cricket. Suraj won the toss for the school and decided to bat first. The opening batsman scored 30 runs without being separated. The visiting fast bowlers couldn't do much. The spin bowlers came on and immediately there was a change in the game. Suraj made a few quick runs, then he too got out to one of the spinners, caught behind the wicket. It was Ranji's turn to bat. The bowler took a short run and then the ball was twirling towards Ranji, looking as though it would spin away from his bat as he leant forward into his stroke. And then a thrill ran through Ranji's arm as he felt the ball meet the springy willow of the bat. Crack! The ball hit firmly with the middle of Ranji's bat, streaked past the helpless bowler and sped towards the boundary. Four runs! At the lunch break, he had scored 40. And 20 minutes after lunch, when Suraj closed the innings, Ranji was not out with 58 and Ranji's school won the match. On his way home, Ranji stopped at Mr. Kumar's shop to give him the good news. We won, he said, and I made 58, my highest score so far. It is really a lucky bat. I told you so, said Mr. Kumar giving Ranji a warm handshake. There'll be bigger scores yet. Ranji went home in high spirits. He was so pleased that he stopped at the Jamna sweet shop and bought two laddus for Koki. Mr. Kumar was right. Ranji's performance that day was only the beginning of Ranji's success with the bat. In the next game, he scored 40. The game that followed was a two-day match and Ranji, who was now batting at number 3, made 45 runs. He hit several boundaries before being caught. In the second innings, when the school team needed only 60 runs for victory, Ranji was batting on 25 when the winning runs were hit. Everyone was pleased with him. His coach, his captain Suraj and Mr. Kumar. But the lucky bat remained a secret between Ranji and Mr. Kumar. One evening, during an informal game on the Maidan, Ranji's friend Bhim slipped while running after the ball and cut his hand on a sharp stone. Ranji took him to a doctor. As it was getting late, he decided to go straight home. Usually he walked, but that evening Ranji caught a bus near the clock tower. When he got home, his mother brought him a cup of tea and while he was drinking it, Koki walked in. The first thing she said was, Ranji, where's your bat? Oh, uh, I must have left it on the Maidan when Bhim got hurt, said Ranji. I'd better go and get it now or it will disappear. He was worried about the bat. 
Without it, his luck might desert him. He hadn't the patience to wait for a bus and ran all the way to the Maidan. The Maidan was deserted and there was no sign of the bat. Then Ranji remembered that he'd had it with him on the bus. He must have left it on the bus. Well, he'd never find it now. The bat was lost forever. Next day, he was at Mr. Kumar's shop, looking very sorry for himself. What's the matter? asked Mr. Kumar. I've lost the bat, said Ranji. Your lucky bat, the one I made all those runs with. I left it on the bus. And the day after tomorrow we're playing the Delhi school and I'll be out for a duck and we'll lose our chance of being the school champions. Mr. Kumar looked a little anxious at first. Then he smiled and said, You can still make all the runs you want. But I don't have the bat anymore, said Ranji. Any bat will do, said Mr. Kumar. What do you mean? I mean, it's the batsman and not the bat that matters. Shall I tell you something? That old bat I gave you was no different from any other bat I've used. True, I made lots of runs with it, but I made runs with other bats too. I never depended on a special bat for my runs. A bat has magic only when the batsman has magic. What you needed was confidence, not a bat. And by believing in the bat, you got your confidence back. What's confidence? asked Ranji. It was a new word for him. Confidence is knowing you are good. And I can be good without the bat? Of course, you have always been good. Remember that, if you do, You'll make the runs. On Saturday, Ranji walked to the wicket with a bat borrowed from Bhim. The Delhi school's opening bowler was sending down some really fast ones. Ranji faced him confidently. The first ball was very fast. Quick on his feet, Ranji stepped back and pulled it hard to the on-boundary. The ball soared over the heads of the fielders and landed with a crash in a crate of cold drink bottles. A six! Everyone stood up and cheered. It was the start of Ranji's wonderful innings. The match ended in a draw, but Ranji's 75 was the talk of the school.